strange things washed up on the shores of North America after a tsunami in Japan. Nature sure is powerful. Here are the 15 most unusual things found after tsunamis. Number 15. Squid Fishing Vessel The 2011 Tohoku earthquake triggered a tsunami that struck the coast of Japan and caused considerable damage. Amongst the devastation, boats moored across the Aomori Prefecture were obliterated and all were assumed to have been completely destroyed. But there was one that was about to go on a cross-Pacific journey. Rio Unmaru was spotted adrift in the ocean more than a year after the tragedy by a routine Canadian Air Force patrol and entered U.S. waters at the beginning of April 2012. Several efforts were made to gain control of the stricken vessel, but all attempts to salvage it failed, leaving the U.S. Navy with no choice but to sink it to prevent it from becoming a hazard to other ships. The Coast Guard ship, the Anacapa, fired on it with an MK-38 25mm autocannon. The Rio Unmaru sank in 6,000 feet of water, just 180 miles off the coast of Alaska. Number 14. Japanese Shrine Tsunamis can pull hundreds of thousands of tons of debris into the ocean when the waters finally recede. And it's in times like these that the strength of the currents traveling throughout the world can be fully understood. In March of 2013, two years after the tsunami struck Japan, residents walking along a beach in Oregon were stunned to see a large piece of redwood in the sand. It was a kasagi, which is a piece of a larger sacred building called a tori, a structure that's commonly seen across North Japan where the monster wave had hit. In the following two years, it had traveled more than 5,000 miles across the Pacific to reach its resting place. But that wasn't the end of its journey. The remains were packed up and sent back to the Japanese town where it had come from which gave them at least something to be positive about in a community that had been so affected by the tsunami. Number 13. 500-Ton Ship The incredible power of tsunamis are so great that no man-made structures are safe in their path. And when an earthquake struck near the Indonesian island of Sulawesi in 2018, the crew on board the KM Sabuk Nusantara 39 found themselves directly in the path of the resulting wave. The 500-ton vessel was in dock at the time, and those on board first realized they were in trouble when they felt the water trying to pull the ship out to sea. When the tsunami hit, they were lifted up from the mooring, and the entire thing was deposited inland near a small village. It was left far away from the ocean, with its propeller and rudder hanging above the ground, leaving the crew isolated and authorities at a loss as to how they could return it to the nearby dock. Number 12. Mysterious Creature Tsunamis aren't just responsible for washing countless tons of debris into the oceans once water flows back from the land, but they also carry and deposit strange things that they've brought up from the deep. In 2011, a very peculiar pink creature was found on a Japanese beach following the monster wave. And to this day, researchers still aren't sure quite what it was. Thought by many to be the remains of a whale that had long since died, the surface of the creature was very different to the smooth skin you'd expect. Instead, it was rock-like in appearance but because of the emergencies being dealt with elsewhere, it was never fully investigated. Within a few days, the whole of the mound had disappeared, but whether this means it was washed back into the ocean during high tide or had been eaten by birds and other animals that live on the beach is not clear either. Number 11. Barred Knife Jaw it's not just objects that can be swept thousands of miles across oceans following a tsunami, because animals can be too. The barred knife jaw is a great example of this, as a species that's native to the Northwest Pacific, particularly around Japan. But several years after the 2011 tsunami, a shoal of them were found swimming in the waters of Monterey Bay in California. Since then, the easily recognizable black and white striped fish have been seen on a number of occasions, and it's thought the only way this is possible is that if a wave swept them 5,000 miles through the ocean from Japan. A report released in 2017 suggests that at least 289 different species were transported from Japan to the U.S. in the aftermath of the tsunami, which is a fascinating insight into the natural processes that contribute to the spread of the biodiversity across the globe. Number 10. Harley Davidson just imagine if you had paid to ship your pride and joy on a container vessel to your new home, only to find out that it had been caught up in a tsunami and that you'd probably never see it again. That's exactly what happened to Ikuo Yokohama when he learned that his prize Harley-Davidson motorcycle had been lost at sea. He had more pressing concerns in the event, having lost his home and several family members. But the following year, he was stunned to discover that his bike had actually been found more than 4,000 miles away on a Canadian island. 
There, residents found a large white container that had washed up on a beach, and inside was the rusted bike. The numbers and letters on the license plate were just barely visible, which allowed them to track down the rightful owner. Of course, after more than 12 months submerged in salt water, the bike was a complete write-off. But it's amazing to see that such a large, heavy, and bulky item can be transported such a long distance by ocean currents. Number 9. A Dock In June of 2012, more than a year after the devastating tsunami that hit Japan, locals from Newport, Oregon were surprised to see a new object that had appeared on Agate Beach. It wasn't clear at first what it was, but after further inspection, it was identified as being a 65-foot-long part of a dock that had once stood in the Japanese city of Misawa on the northwest coast of the country. There was a debate as to what should happen to the 150-ton structure, because it was in fairly good condition. There were some who thought it should be towed out to the city's harbor to replace a wooden one that had been destroyed during a storm the previous winter and could provide shelter to a colony of sea lions. But ecologists had concerns because the remains of the dock also had transported passengers from 5,000 miles away in Japan. These marine animals, including the North Pacific Sea Star, the Japanese Shore Crab, and the Wakame Kelp, all had the ability to thrive in the local ecosystem and could potentially threaten the local wildlife. In the end, to avoid this risk, the concrete dock was cut into five pieces and disposed of carefully although one section was kept and displayed in the city as a memorial to those that had died in Japan. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. Oarfish Of all the mysterious creatures that live in the depths of the oceans, one of the strangest is the oarfish. They are the longest known species of bony fish, growing up to 26 feet long, and they have for centuries been closely associated with tsunamis. The reason for this is that the monster waves suck water up from deep beneath the surface, and along with it comes the animals that live there. Oarfish, while it's rare to see them in normal conditions, are often found on the beaches following a tidal wave. But there are some communities that believe the link is even more important than that. They think that the oarfish are actually able to predict tsunamis and take evasive action to avoid them by swimming into shallow waters and sometimes purposefully beaching themselves. They are therefore seen as an omen that a tsunami is about to strike, but currently there is no direct evidence to support this theory. Either way, the aftermath of violent storms are the most likely times to see these unusual fish, which are believed to be the inspiration behind ancient mariner stories of sea serpents. Number 7. Village Sign In September of 2013, a group of residents from Oahu, Hawaii were walking along a beach when they noticed a strange piece of wood in the sand. At first, they thought nothing of it, assuming it was something they had washed up from a fishing boat or was part of an old hut. But when they looked closer, they realized that there was Japanese writing on it. They took it with them to consult a translator and found out that the words on the sign said Shimanakoshi Village Housing. To their surprise, this was a welcome sign from Japan that had been dislodged and washed away during the tsunami several years earlier. They managed to track down its place of origin, a village called Tanohata, and officials from the coastal outpost were so glad to hear the sign had been recovered that arrangements were made to have it sent back. It was one of just 20 items that have been found in Hawaii that have been definitively traced back to the Japanese tsunami, and the fact that it could be sent back has formed a bond between the two communities forever. Number 6. Ancient City We think of tsunamis as such destructive forces, and it's hard not to when you see images of such devastation. But there are some occasions when they have revealed long-lost secrets that historians thought would never be found. Researchers had been investigating a site near the beachfront, Mahabalapuram Temple in India for several months, but following a deadly tsunami that struck the region in December of 2004, the coastline receded and uncovered the remains of what they think was an ancient city that would have been a cultural center around 1,200 years ago. The stone structures, some of which are six feet tall, could have been the foundations of the port, which the famous nearby temple was part of, but one that had sunk beneath the waves, possibly because of a similar earthquake or tsunami many centuries ago. Engravings could still be seen on them, which were similar to others that have been found in the region, and the waves also washed all of the sand from a monument that depicted a large elephant. Number 5. 60-Year-Old Man Your chances of survival when a tsunami hits comes down to a mixture of preparation and sheer luck. But for one man, even though he managed to avoid the initial incident, he surely must have thought his time was up. 60-year-old Hiromitsu Shinkawa had done what many others did when the alarm was raised. He clambered onto the roof of his house in the hope that the water would pass underneath. It did, 
but it took his house with it, and he was left floating on the surface, stuck on a makeshift life raft. As he began to float out to sea, all hope of returning to dry land surely vanished, but incredibly, that wasn't the end of his story. Two days later and 10 miles out from the coast, a self-defense force destroyer that was en route to help with relief efforts spotted him and the flag he was waving. They were able to quickly bring him on board to give him a drink and some food, and according to reports, at that point, he burst out into tears. Medics say he was in good physical condition and had been lucky with the calm weather and seas he had experienced. He returned to his hometown as soon as he was allowed to, and in a sign of his strength and courage, immediately got to work helping people to rebuild. Number 4. A Rowing Boat One night in April of 2013, residents of Crescent City in California were abuzz with the news that something unusual had washed ashore. A large group went down to investigate, and soon found themselves waiting in the water trying to bring the strange wooden structure onto dry land. It was a small 20-foot fishing boat that had capsized at sea and was now covered in hundreds of gooseneck barnacles. Officials were stumped as to whose boat it was and who had a claim to it, but when they removed some of the barnacles, they found some Japanese writing. It said, Takata High School, and it was at this point they realized the boat must have been a piece of debris that was washed away by the tsunami. Crescent City itself has a history with tsunamis and was almost destroyed by one in the 1960s. It hit a cord with students at the local high school who decided to clean it, remove all of the barnacles, and were eventually able to contact the school it had come from and arrange for it to be returned. Since then, the two schools have been inextricably linked. They are now sister schools that arrange for exchange programs and events between each other. Number 3. A Mosque Aerial imagery of regions that have been decimated by a tsunami can be tough to look at. Places that were once covered in towns, homes, and offices are reverted to a lifeless swath of land, but occasionally something unexpected stands out. In 2004, a ferocious tidal wave hit the town of Banda Esa in Indonesia and washed away virtually everything in sight. But amazingly, the town's mosque remained fully standing, with hardly a scratch on it. The building had been a refuge for hundreds of locals, and they all survived the event too. But the question is, how is this possible? There were those that believed it was divine intervention. One local said it was Allah who created the wave, and it was Allah who saved the mosque. And while it's impossible to know one way or another whether a higher power truly was involved, there were some other reasons why the building managed to survive what others didn't. It was constructed by Dutch colonists in 1881 and used only the finest materials that were available. Any upkeep work was done by charities and benefactors who are less likely to make extra profit by using substandard materials. So this would have easily been the strongest, most stable building in the whole area. Number 2. Hundreds of Millions of Yen When the coast of Japan was hit by the tsunami, hundreds of tons worth of debris was washed out to sea. But some of this was far more valuable than simple pieces of wood, and the Japanese people's response to discovering some of it could be a lesson to the rest of us. In the country, there's thought to be around $300 billion worth of currency that isn't in circulation and is instead stored in people's homes. In fact, there's a phrase for it, Tansuyoken which means wardrobe savings, and it's very common for families to keep cash and safes in their home, just in case they find they need it. In the weeks and months following the tsunami, hundreds of dented safes began washing up on the shores. Instead of keeping them for themselves like you might expect in most places, residents who found them took them to the local authorities, and one police station had to dedicate an entire warehouse to store them. The process of returning this cash to its owners is more complicated, however especially for the bundles that were found inside items of furniture or just lying on the beach. Proof must be provided to be able to claim it, so unless the owners were able to open a safe and show their names on documents that were inside, it's unlikely they would have been allowed to keep it. The finders do, however, have a right to claim it if no one else comes forward, but within three years only a fraction had been returned, and the rest of the safes were open, with all outstanding currency sent to the government to help with repairs. Number 1. Tsunami Detection Buoy since tsunamis are some of the most destructive, naturally occurring phenomena on Earth, huge efforts are put into trying to predict when the next one might strike. This isn't particularly easy because there are only a few minutes warning between an earthquake that triggers one and it reaching the coast. But just a matter of seconds warning is surely better than none at all. For this reason, a network of buoys are placed in regions thought to be at risk that measure the changing height of the waves. If they lift beyond a certain point, a tsunami warning is triggered, and people have time to brace themselves. 
In January of 2018, one such warning was sent out along the coast of Oregon, but something rather disconcerting had been discovered a few hours earlier. A hiker walking along a beach north of Yahats found a six-foot-wide tsunami detection buoy in the sand. Usually tethered by cables to the ocean floor hundreds of miles from the coast, it takes some serious force to dislodge one of these solar-powered devices. Luckily, the National Weather Service, which is responsible for operating them, had known this one had broken free several months earlier, and its loss hadn't impacted their ability to monitor the waves. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.